Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at making all those door designs I just showed you. One button, one button push. This is how we're going to do it. It's just like that. We have, I'll go through the links for you. As many buttons as you want into a flip-flop block. So C, V into the flip-flop block, then C into an activation block. The activation block goes into the uh, contract then you have a knot gate, okay, and you link the knot gate to a button. The button is then linked to the expand or open, okay. The way all these systems work is you've got two rails, and here's the controls. So for each rail, that's a rail, I have two buttons, one going each way. Now if this was a four-way rail, there'd be four different buttons. So basically, if I hit this, it will turn the rail direction round and send the cart through. So if I hit it again, it'll send it back. Exact same thing for this side. So there's the rail. There it is. The way it's done is you hit link the buttons to the rails they control, as you can see there. So if I hit this button, it's going to send it in. If I send it back, there we go. Next. So that I don't have to push loads of buttons, if I want it to contract, so this one, sorry, expand, both buttons link into that. So if I hit this button, it will bring the doors in. If I hit this button, it will send them out. And so then all you need is this circuit. If I hit the button, as you can see, this was on, which set this button off, which contracted. If I hit the other button, doesn't matter. Now you can just hit this button and it'll open and close all day and all, da all, ne all day and all night. And it only requires a four block logic system to power all of the, all the, all the doors that I demoed in the video yesterday. They're all like, they all work off this system. So then what I've done is I've done a complete mock-up for you with this door here. This is like what I would call a full door. Um, the floor is actually at this height. I've only built it off the ground so I can show you what's going on underneath. It's naked on the other side. So if I want to open the door or close the door, I hit the button. And I can have as many buttons as I want throughout the uh, build. It doesn't matter. You just hit the button and it'll close and if it's open it'll, you know. So through we go. Here's another button on the other side. No problem. And like I say, the way that was done if you watch now the workings you can see that's all it's doing is it's sending the pulse to either contract these two rail entities or expand them so that's it that's all it is okay um, this is exactly the same thing the only difference is they're actually on the rails on its side because it doesn't make any difference the game doesn't care if the rail is upside down or on its side as long as there's room. And as you can see, this is a pretty tight space. It's really easy to hide things. Um, the same exact system as what was over here, only maybe a little bit easier to understand. So we have the left and right, left and right, those rails. Do you know what? I'm going to put a light block down so you can actually see the rail surface. Just there. Whoa. Okay, bing. Okay, so as you can see there, you've got a rail going left and a rail going right. Those two buttons. So if I hit this button here, hit that one, it's going to send this door left. Okay, and then all I've done is I've bridged the controls with these two buttons, which gives you your in and out. So it controls both doors at once. And then we cover it all up. And then you have your door. So just to go over that wiring one more time, super easy. There it is. So the existing system either contracts or expands the two doors. And so you need to get a pulse to open or close it. And so you put all that under the, under the ground and you only have your buttons exposed. And the way the link goes again, just in case you don't remember, as many buttons as you would like, 
into the, into the flip-flop. The flip-flop connects to the activation. The activation connects to the first trigger that you want it to action and the knock gate. The knock gate is linked to a button. That button is linked to your second action. And there you have it. That's all you needed. Oh, and one more thing, because it's fun. Hang on. Let's see. Come out of this. Oi! Right. Something I found out that was pretty interesting, and this is just a slick illustration of how much better the collision mechanics are these days. If I just quickly open that door. There we go. Right, so if I park myself here and shoot the button, I'm going to get crushed. Boop. Ow, bubble. Oh my god, my core's been stolen. What happens next? Oh, okay, so what happens if I have two cores then? Yes, two cores. It can't can't do anything. I got I'm gonna put two cores in here. Ow! Ah! Ah! It's all shaking about in there. Okay, right, let's um open it up. Oh, Perfectly parked. <laughs> and is this whole ship moving? It's moving exactly with the ship. Anyway, so how about three calls? It's the next natural evolution, right? Okay, so let's... Uh, this isn't going to work, by the way. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm actually going to get out and watch this one. Huh. Oh boy. Ah, we've got a bit of a train situation. I can't get out. Right, there we go. I'm out. Right, ready? Crush him! Wait, what? How? There's not room for three in there. Oh my god, they're jiggling about. <laughs> Science! Okay, right. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get a fourth one in there. Let's un un open it up and find out. Whoa! What? I think I was compressing them. Okay, right. Let's close it one more time. Boop. <laughs> oh, no, my car. Quick, ride it. Okay, right. So, sit here, shall we? So, basically, that was my demo. Thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, just wanted to announce the whole one-button operation of all doors. And super easy. Only four blocks required. And uh, like I say, from the last video I did on Epic Doors, you should be able to see 12 completely unique door designs. So go back and check that out if you missed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.